Hey there! You might be considering trying to naturally induce your labor by drinking castor oil, and I want to help you think through this idea so that you feel comfortable with your decision. Now, questions that are probably going through your head might be, is drinking castor oil safe? And does castor oil work to induce labor? And how do I use castor oil to induce labor? And finally, should I drink castor oil to induce labor? Now, personally, I'm a believer in safety first. So I do recommend having a conversation with your healthcare provider, your midwife, your OB, talking to them about this decision. Now, when we discuss the question of should you induce labor a little bit later, I will provide you with a good idea of how you can start this conversation with your healthcare provider. So stay tuned for that. Now, there hasn't been a lot of research on castor oil to induce labor, but the studies that have been done on pregnant people have shown no significant risks in using castor oil to induce labor. Now, more data would really be needed to draw any significant conclusions. And while there isn't super clear research showing risks associated with castor oil induction, your care provider might mention a few risks. They might mention dehydration, they might mention the risk of causing too many contractions. On to the question whether or not castor oil really works. So for many people, it does work. Now, drinking castor oil to induce labor is more effective if your body is close to labor. Now, this is the hard part because it's probably pretty likely that you don't know if your body is close to labor. So there's one thing that you do know, and that's your estimated due date. So for example, if you're taking castor oil weeks before your due date, it's likely that it won't be effective because you're not close to labor. But if you're taking castor oil after your due date, the chances are higher that your body is close to labor. And the other thing is if you've already given birth vaginally to at least one baby, it's more likely that castor oil is going to be effective, that it's going to work. So if you've given birth before, you're close to your due date or past it, and your body has already shown signs of labor, like some crampiness, mucus plug lost, well, you might be more likely to have an effective induction with castor oil. Let's talk about how does castor oil work? Well, castor oil, it's a laxative. So stimulating your bowels can cause the uterus to become stimulated. So what this means for you truthfully, is that you're gonna be in the toilet or in the bathroom at least. You might have stomach cramping, vomiting, loose stool, diarrhea. Uh, many people who take castor oil spend some significant time on the toilet before labor starts or maybe in the early labor. So <laughs> where we are right now, I'm wondering for you how you're feeling about this. Drop me a comment on a scale from one to 10 of how you're feeling about a castor oil induction. So in those research trials that I mentioned earlier, participants took 60 milliliters, which is about four tablespoons of the castor oil with about half a glass of water or half a glass of orange juice. Now, if you talk to midwives, they might recommend their own concoctions that they give to patients. I think everyone agrees that what you really need is to be well hydrated leading up to taking castor oil. So you don't wanna just drink a bunch of water before taking castor oil and call yourself hydrated. You need to make sure prior to that that you're hydrated. And many people also suggest taking castor oil after a meal or on a full stomach. Now, we have covered safety, effectiveness, how to do it, and what I think the most important question is right now is should you try to induce labor at home with castor oil? And for this, I'm gonna grab my notebook. Let's walk through this decision. Should I use castor oil to induce labor? So the first question to start with is, did I discuss using castor oil with my doctor or my midwife? And if it's no, then I would say we're at a dead end. If yes, the next question would be, am I comfortable with the risks of using castor oil? No, then probably not a good idea to proceed. If yes, then the question is, do I have any other options that I prefer? So if you have no other options, then you can proceed with the next question of, 
is this a good day or time to take castor oil? If no, probably time to wait. If yes, next question would be, am I hydrated? If no, time to wait. If yes, the next important question is, have I prepared my partner? If no, time to wait. If yes, then okay, we might have come to our decision. Okay, for that discussion with your doctor or midwife, I do recommend asking benefits, asking risks, asking about alternatives. Now, if they give you risks that you aren't aware of, you might consider asking for more information so that you can read and learn more about research or studies or information that they have. Now, if you decide to take castor oil, I do recommend letting your doctor or midwife know about your plans. Before you take any castor oil, make sure you check out this video right here with my best tips for driving to the hospital in labor. Now, in this video, you're gonna see a list of must have items for that trip, along with some very clear instructions for how to make that ride as comfortable as possible. Now, see you next time. Bye guys.